All right, guys, here we are at the Wheaton Ice Arena. The Wheaton Ice Arena is actually a county facility. It's in Montgomery County, Maryland. Um, it is run by the Maryland National Capital Park and Planning Commission. Say that three times fast. Hi guys, welcome to the Wheaton Ice Arena where your skating dreams are just a glide away. Um, as you can see, here we get you checked in with wristbands. There's a different wristband for every personality type. So no matter what you like and what you don't like, we've got something for you, okay? This is only a couple of them. There's a whole row of them because when you do check in the ice rinks, they need to have a way that's easily identifiable to make sure that you did pay to be on the ice. So some rinks use wristbands like we do, other rinks might use like giant stickers, but we use wristbands. After that, you may need your own skates. You may have your own skates or you may need to rent some. So you'll get a skate exchange ticket like this. This is, hey, I'm renting skates. Um, you would cash this in next door at our skate exchange in order to get a pair of skates to play around on the ice, okay? So let's go ahead and take a walk over to the skate exchange and get our skates. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and get our oh skates. We're gonna head right over this way. Over here is our skate exchange. So as you can see, we have a whole bunch of skates that are just lined up in these little cubbies. That's where they live. Um, or at the skate exchange. What kind of skates are you looking for? Do you know the difference between skates? Well, let's go over them just a little bit. This right here is a hockey skate. If you look, it has a very curved blade. It's also a little bit shorter than your regular figure skates, okay? Hockey skates are made so that they can go quickly across the ice without doing too many tricks because hockey players want to get from one end to the other and just be able to stop on a dime. Okay, so hockey blades are just a little bit shorter and they also have that little bit of a curve down here and over here at this side. If you're looking at it straight on like this, you would actually be able to see that it has a curve right here too that helps them as they go through the ice. Okay, if you're more interested in figure skates, this is what a figure skate looks like. The blade is slightly longer, okay? than your hockey blade. That's because figure skaters need more room and more surface area on the ice than a hockey skater does, okay? If you look, one of the coolest things is that it has this toe pick. The toe pick is actually how they anchor themselves into the ice so they can do those spins that we all love, the double axles and things like that. Um, it also allows them to do their jumps and everything. Now, a hockey skate <clears throat> versus a figure skate is different in a lot of ways. Not only is the blade longer, it's not quite as curved. Okay, so if you're looking at the straighter blade on a figure skate than it is on a hockey skate, and again, that's just simply because figure skaters are looking to do more agile things on the ice than just get from one point to the other. Did you know that the way a boot fits is incredibly important to skaters? That you can actually get your boot heat treated to fit your foot perfectly. They heat them up and then cool them down around your foot so that way it matches, kind of like a sock. Okay, the boot is so important that some skaters actually replace the blade only and keep the boot. You can do that because you can buy just blades. So if you look on the bottom of a blade, there's actually screw holes right over here. Okay, and that's how it's secured to the bottom of a boot. See? Now, I definitely wouldn't recommend just anybody deciding to replace their blades. You want to make sure that you have a trained professional doing it. Otherwise, you may wind up with a little bit to the left, a little bit to the right. And of course, just the little variance of that can definitely change how you are skating and whether or not your skate is reliable. Okay, so from here, we're actually going to head out over to the ice because I hear there's a figure skating yeah. session going on right now and it's pretty cool to watch. There's a lot of interesting things that they do. It can be a little bit intimidating like to me because I am not a skater by any means. They're just so graceful opposed to me. I fall up steps and things like that. So let's go ahead and take a look and see if they have anything amazing going on out there. Okay. Alrighty, so now we've got our skates and we're heading out to see what's going on on the ice. A quick little look. Coming through these double doors, you can see that here is the rink. Okay, and here we go. This is a super special treat. This is what we call the Zambe. So Zambonis actually take naps. I'm just kidding. But if you look back here, we have two Zambonis. 
okay? The Zambonis are this super cool, um, like weird looking machines that go across the ice and resurface it. So what they're actually doing is there's a small blade, well, it's not small, but there's a blade. There's a blade underneath the Zamboni that's shaving the top layer of ice off. It pulls it up into those pits, okay? That look like this when it's closed. And then at the same time, it's laying down hot water. And the hot water is what actually makes the new ice. All right, guys, here we are with Summer. She is one of our lead and best ice skating coaches here at Wheaton Ice Arena. So uh, I do have a couple questions for you today, okay? First off, Summer, how long have you been a professional figure skating coach? Um, so I've been teaching for a little over 12 years. I've been here at Wheaton for eight now, um, but I used to teach at a different rink at the Gardens Ice House for about four years. But I took a little bit of a break in between when I finished my master's degree. Okay, okay, beautiful. Um, and what accomplishments, either on or off the ice, have your skaters achieved as a result of learning how to figure skate? So I am specific on individual like goal building. I like every day to have to feel like it has its own accomplishment. So that means we walk into the rink with a goal in mind of something you want to do, and that kind of teaches the kids how to like build practice time, how to work hard. Um, a lot of my kids have set individual goals, which was like specifically passing tests or doing well at a competition, and I've seen a lot of them achieve those goals. But I've also seen them apply to colleges of their dream and be able to get in using um, skating in their resume. I've seen them get into other programs, whether it be like accelerated learning programs um, in primary school. I've seen them get the jobs of their dreams. Like I've seen them not only build as skaters, but as individual people, and it's kind of I bet. And um, how would you say that figure skating has changed your life for the better? I'm like the better and the worse. <laughs> right, you know, there's always one and one, right? So, uh, like a little bit about me, as a skater, um, I had a lot of severe injuries when I was 16. And so, for me, it's kind of taught me how to be stronger. Does that make sense? Like, it's learned, taught me how to be um a stronger individual because I've had to come overcome so many different struggles. I didn't get to have the skating career that I wanted. So it meant I had to kind of turn my life into something else. And so my dream obviously was always to be an elite performer and I didn't get that. So then through that instead I got to be like an elite professional skating coach. And so now I get to see all of my skaters kind of live out their own dreams and it kind of builds up that intensity in me to work harder for my students because I want the best for them. Right. Almost living vicariously yeah, kind 100%. of. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um and I'm not that cheesy like, you know, mom, dance mom in the background. You know, <laughs> <laughs> um lastly, why did you start skating and are you happy with the choice to stick through it for through the years? Um so I'm even gonna give you a longer story. Um I started skating when I was five. When I was born, my mom wanted me to be an elite ballerina. She put me in dance classes, and I got kicked out of my first dance class <laughs> for not listening. Because <laughs> I was off in the corner, like, kind of doing my own thing. They didn't realize at the time that it was hard of hearing, so it was hard for me to sort of understand what was going on in that class. Um, but we were watching skating on TV one day, and I'm really big into, like, athleticism and having my dad have only girls, like, football like we were rough and tough kids growing up and figure skating to me was like this really graceful kind of ballerina side that my mom wanted me to be but then this also like kind of elite strong athlete my dad wanted and it kind of felt like the best of both worlds to me so it was like get me on the ice I want to try this I waddled out on a park swing it was actually at Herbert Wells for the first time I was fine. My skates were not tied properly. I only knew what inside edges were. There was this lady skating in the middle of the ring doing jumps and spins. She was so fancy. I got up to her and I was like, teach me how to do that. Like right now I have to jump. <laughs> My mom looked at me and was like, oh no, this sport is expensive. What did I get myself into? I've never lost the ice ever since. I have zero regrets even through my injuries. People ask me like if you could 
do it all over again would do? Absolutely not. Like, even through the hardships and the hard times, like, this is my life, and I'm happy for the person that needs to be Awesome. Well, thank you for sitting down with me, Summer. I know you've got classes coming up, so thank you a lot. Alright guys, so here we are at the bird's eye view of the rink in total. Figured this is a great place to go ahead and close today's uh, walkthrough. So today we did learn how figure skating and hockey molded the lives of two individuals here at the Whedon Ice Arena and how they actually kind of made careers out of their interests. Okay, um, we also learned a little bit about the different kinds of skates and what they're good for and some interesting facts as far as skates are concerned. Personally, I never knew that you could change out the blade until I started working at an ice rink, okay? Um, essentially, what I really want you guys to take away is that ice skating has been around for 4,000 years. So it's one of the oldest pastimes on record. They actually believe that ice skating started by using sharpened antlers from animals, okay? So if you're curious at all about how ice skating can help you because it is a great cardiovascular activity, please visit your local rink. Ask them about, you know, their public sessions when you can come in and try out skating. And then also, of course, you can always look into lessons. But please, again, take it from someone who didn't know anything about skating. It's way more involved than you would ever have dreamed. And it definitely is one of the best ways to keep yourself in shape. And that's all I've got from the Wheaton Ice Arena. Have a good night.